What's up? It's Creative, and I've got a tutorial in Cinema 4D today. I know I've been slacking on uploads on my channel, but um, I just want to show, like, I want to uh, inform you guys I'm not unactive on my channel. I've just been really busy at the minute. Uh, I've got college stuff to do. I've got my final major project coming up for college for art and design, so I've got to focus on that. I've got logos to do, and uh, everything. So I haven't really had time uploading, um, but I'm not slacking. There will still be some stuff uploaded. Um, but hopefully this tutorial will make up for it. And this is basically on creating abstract shapes. You can call it a version, like a, a step two or phase two from the previous tutorial, which is on original free media. But this is basically a different way to create abstract shapes. And it's really interesting to see what kind of looks you can get. Um, also, if you want to check out my Behance, because I've got a new LA23 logo concepts on there, please do, because I think that's uh, probably one of my best work so far. Um, but we will crack on with this tutorial. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to grab the Plantonic. Um, the good thing about this tutorial is basically that uh, I know for the other one you needed R12 and onwards. This one you can use R11 which is cool because it's using some of the basic settings you already get in Cinema 4D. Okay, so once we've got our Plantonic we just want to leave it as it is. You can always scale it up like that but you want to leave the segments and the type. We're going to make it editable going to use the use polygon mode which basically uh, you can now select each polygon individually and we're going to grab the selection tool we're going to come into the perspective and we're going to drag a box a selection box around here, here while holding shift and uh, you'll notice a few points sneak away here so we need to grab these um, so everything's selected and ready to go so now we're going to come back into this view here, right click and go matrix extrude. So now we're going to uh, give a bit of matrix extrude to it. You don't want it too much, this is just perfect. And you don't want to edit these points here. I know it's it's coming up highlighted in yellow and you're like, oh, that's really indicating me that I should edit them points, I should branch it out even more. It just looks like it, it just looks like it's meant to be, but just don't edit it. So once you've got this kind of view here, you want to come to the matrix extrude options and the, the, this thing here, the tools, and um, as you can see you've got all these bunch of options. Now I haven't really bothered with these options until recently, I just kind of like matrix extruded it and was like, mm, yeah that's cool, I'll leave it. But really, playing around with these options does pay off. I mean there's some really cool stuff you can find out using these and if you have got the time, I would strongly recommend for you to play around with this and kind of see what how it works and um, everything else. So once you've got a little, um, once you've got it branching out like this, you don't want it too much, you don't want it too less. You just kind of come um, kind of really play around with this. Now, as you can see, um, just by selecting one, you can kind of get a little variation, and I'm I'm kind of liking that there. That's cool. Uh, we're going to come to these ones as well. Uh, that's giving it a little little uh, different move in a different uh, angle way. And this one here, th that's looking all right. Come to scale, and now you can see you can make it fat or thin. I like it how it comes uh, kind of kind of like that. That's cool. And we're gonna just going to play around with this again. And just that's well, not doing anything. Now for the rotation, you can really see you can really rotate it around and see what kind of looks you can get. Um, I'm kind of liking the way that comes in like that. The rotation here. Um, uh, ooh. That's kind of cool. You can maybe animate this and make it look really, really, um, really freaky and cool. Um, but basically, I'm just going to leave it to about, I don't know, here looks cool. Come over to this rotation here and just really play around with these points here. Now that looks cool to me. Now what you can do is you can play around with the variation as initial or per step. So if we come to initial here, you can see you can kind of play around with that there. And I'm going to sell for that. Now, as you can see, it's kind of like coming out and it's all like jagged and horrible. But if you come over to the hypernerves, add a hypernerves onto it. Uh, increase the subdivision editor to about five. Come over here and just really have a look. Have a look what you're working with. It's all like kind of swirly and kind of horrible and meshy. But if you add a little light into that and uh, a few other things, 
can guarantee you get a fantastic look. Um, if I really quickly show you, and add in a twist now, we'll see what a twist does. Oh shit, I added to that to the wrong thing. I'll just put it in an extrude nerves, and we'll add a twist into there. No, the twist doesn't look too good. But it's all self-explanatory for yourself. Now, this is really, really awesome for creating really cool looks. You get a different look every time you try it. So it's worth playing around with different, um, like, trying different things out. I shouldn't have gone into the um, the editor on the height on the matrix extrude, um, this variation thing here. I should have just gone non and because it, I think it kind of spoiled it, uh, but that that's basically learning from your mistakes. Um, so I hope you kind of like this tutorial, and I hope you really play around with it and try to create some cool stuff. This is just an example. I mean, it's not perfect, but I'm sure when you do it yourself, you'll spend more time maybe putting it in a scene, lighting it, texturizing it, everything else. But I just wanted to get a rough idea out there of how to use the Matrix Extrude. So hopefully you're a bit more clear on that. And uh, if you could leave a like on this, it would be much appreciated. I really hope I can get this to 10 likes because of... Um, I have I, I always seem to get like about eight likes and then it stops. So getting past ten, maybe eleven or thirteen, that 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 made my day. Plus it is my birthday today. Not even lying. Um, no, it doesn't even say it anymore. But my my phone's been going absolutely crazy with messages at the minute. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this tutorial and peace.